The auditorium at the local high school has 40 rows of seats. There are 20 seats in the first row, 22 seats in the second row, 24 seats in the third row, and so on. What is the seating capacity of the auditorium? So we want to begin by writing down the first few terms in this sequence. It says there's 20 seats in the first row, followed by 22 seats in the second row, 24 seats in the third row, and so on. So right now you can see that it appears that we are adding two each time to get from one term to the next. So this tells us two things. First, it tells us that this is representing an arithmetic sequence, and it also tells us our common difference. D is equal to 2. Now we're interested in finding the seating capacity of the entire auditorium. That means we need to add the number of seats in row 1 to the number of seats in row 2 and row 3 and on. And we need to do that for all 40 rows. So we're actually looking for a sum. So by adding the terms, it turns into an arithmetic series, and we're looking for the partial sum. Luckily, we have a nice formula for the partial sum of an arithmetic sequence. And that will be the number of terms, n, times a sub 1 plus a sub n, all divided by 2. So in this case, since we have 40 rows, we're looking to add the number of seats in all 40 rows. That means we want to find the 40th partial sum, s sub 40. So n, the number of terms, therefore is 40. Our first term, number of seats in the first row, is 20, plus a sub n in this case would be a sub 40. It's the number of seats in the 40th row. And we don't know that yet, so I'll just leave that as a sub 40, all divided by 2. In other words, we can't move forward with this computation until we first find out the value of a sub 40. So this is basically like asking for the 40th term in this sequence, which represents the number of seats in the 40th row. And we could find that by just adding two repetitively and doing that 40 times. That's not very efficient though. So we can go back to something we've previously studied, which is the formula for any term in an arithmetic sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub one, the first term, plus n minus 1 times d. So for this example, if we want a sub 40, the 40th term of the sequence, we'll start with a sub 1, which was 20, plus 40 minus 1 times 2, which gives us 98. So it looks like there are 98 seats in the 40th row. So back to our previous computation, now we can input 98 here in place of a sub 40. Now we know the 40th term of this particular sequence. So computing this sum, 40 times 20 plus 98 all divided by 2, gives us 2,360. There are 2,360 seats in this auditorium.